Time for the next pre-final of the day then. The 2021 Rotex Max Pro Tour, round number one, Warwick Car Club, Junior Max pre-final, make their way out onto the circuit. And they all head through Zach's Motorsport and into the Better Bends to start their sighting lap. On track we have the number five, Steph Brown. The number eight, Oliver Astazi. The number 10, Isaac McNeil. The number 12, Armand Hamilton. The number 18, Cohen Day. The number 21, Grace Danton. The number 25, his cousin, Caden Thompson. The number 27, Ryan Thompson. The number 28, Christian Estazi. The 29, Imogen Radburn. The 34, Alexander Stefan. The 43, Costa Taparis. The 44, Lachlan Burke. The number 68, Mad Max Walton. The 87, Max Gobbers. And the number 90, Ryan McMillan. They are the drivers getting ready to come round then and just form it all up. Junior Max pre-final. 18 laps, remember. 16 drivers ready to do battle. All heading into Cashies. And ready to go now. From the front, Costa Taparas. Right alongside him once more, Christian Estazi. The second row as Mad Max Walton on the outside, suicide. And on the inside, Isaac McNeil. Ryan, we heard that all nice and steady. Looks like we are ready to go. Green light racing, away we go. Taparas once again gets a cracker start. And there's been some. One, two, three, gone around. Unfortunately, that looked like it started in the mid pack. And they've gone around as well as another one gone around. On the little back straightaway after Power Republic. And we've got four carts off at the back. We'll check in with who they are as they come around. One of them for sure is Oliver Astazi, but the leader to Paris won't mind. He's got the deal gone with him, but Max Walton goes back up to P4 after an indifferent start. But he does hold on, we'll just about hold on as Ryan McMillan. Team may remember, just went through on him. McMillan eventually settles back into five as they all head round him. Seth Brown has got himself up with that front pack as well. So it is Taparis, McNeil, Sanson, Walton, McMillan, Thompson, Stefan, Estazi, Brown, Radburn has got himself a good start. Then Borky, followed by Gomez, Hamilton, Estazi, Day, Thompson in the back. Brown, we come back towards me through you, Pub. Looks back, looks like the inside, but doesn't make that move stick. Still, he's going to have a look on the break, surely. Whoa, up the inside now, Stefan goes back one. He got nailed. In JG Khan, who goes back behind Christian Astazi. He was the front row man, remember? So Astazi trying to make his way through the field. Back they come, still to Paris. Leads the way. He's got Thompson right in front of him. Caden Thompson, maybe not know yet, but he's about to get the rub of a certain Astasi up the inside. Through he goes. Gets one more place back, once more. Now he's into seven. That will be six, in fact. So Christian Astasi making inroads into the leaders. Trying to get back to that front three. Round they'll come, back towards me. Taparas, McNeil, then Sanchez, Walton, McMillan. Then it is the starting. A bit of a gap to get back up to. First of all, Ryan McMillan, but McMillan on the back of Walton and Bray Stanton. 
Behind them, we've got Radburn. Here comes Imogen. She's got Borky. And behind them, they've got the number 12, Marvin Hamilton. Then goes through Jeff Brown, Stefan, then Estazi. Then Gomez and Tomset. Cohen J. Struggling at the back. Cohen's got a drama. Still, Mad Max Walton trying to make his move, but still, Santin is holding. But he'll come. Taparas goes through. McNeil goes through. This three way doesn't know if they're about the end course. But Christian Estardi, Walton goes up the inside and gets it done in Cassie's corner. He's got two on Ray Santin. Then still, McNeil and Rob Hinton. Estardi's closing in. Then Thompson goes through. Then it will be Rafael down on the inside. Imogen trying to come back at him. Down sinking straight they go. Hamilton though tries to clear it. Imogen Radburn trying to get underneath that bumper and hold on and Burke is just behind him with Seth Brown coming in after him as well. They all go through global half. Back with the leader, Taparis, McNeil, but now Walton, Dancing. McMillan, they've all been caught by none other than Christian and Darcy. Here he comes. Through Pub and Kane and Thompson trying to catch him. As Darcy takes that wide entry. Looking to get the slingshot launched and sinking straight. And he gets the speed and now he's on the back of that pack. Walton, Santin, McMillan are about to be the Stasis. Here comes Christian. He looks fast and he's all over him like a rash already. Leaders come back towards me still. To Paris and McNeil. Do they go? Here comes Walton, Santin, McMillan and Stasi. Stays where he is. Oh, where will he make his first move? Didn't want to go through a cash I think he's worked out. It's not a fast overtake, that one. McMillan holds. <laughs> Imogen Radburn. Now, could have a bit more trouble. And that goes up the inside. Oh, that was Oliver Astazi going up the inside of Berkey. So he's gone through. And still Christian Astazi on the back of this pack. Where is he going to make his move? Will they be able to hold on? So Paris certainly is. Leader with the fastest lap, 44 one two five. McNeil goes through. Walton. Dancing. McMillan. Christian Astazi. Following them, still Kane and Thompson. Then Hamilton, Brown, Radburn. Behind Stefan, then Astazi and Bob. Then Thompson. Behind Thompson, here will come Max Gobbins. They all go round pub. Leaders already coming back towards us in this massive battle. Third, fourth, fifth, and sixth continues. Walton hanging on in there. What can Christian Astazi do? He would love to be a gap between them all, but there isn't one. So he's got to be brave. He's got to make a move somewhere. Does he go now? McMillan goes. McMillan's got two in one. Oh, dirty for dirty. He's got on the ground. Straight dancing. Goes on the ground. And McMillan got two for the price of one. Now he's got Rolton with him. What a move from Ryan McMillan. Move of the day. And Darcy goes through on Walton. Christian Estasi, he's got three to go. On he goes then. Estasi into better bends and now he's into them. Taparas comes through. McNeil goes through. And now McMillan has Christian Estasi right with him. Walton's there as well. Right now, Carmen still. On the back of them, then Stanton goes through, then Arben Hamilton followed by Seth Brown, then still Stefan. Where's Imogen? Oh, Imogen's just in front of Astarzi. Brown, they go, the leader's already coming back. Any moment now towards me as the back marker of they go through. Poor old Cohen's having a drama, but Costa Taparas is not. Who goes? McNeil and P2. 
He's still got a battle for Estazi. Does he go now? Yes, he does. Christian Estazi goes through, but Macmillan gets him back on the undercut. And Dalton is almost upon him as well. Now Christian Estazi has found himself in a massive ding-dong. Through they go, through Power Republic, nearly lose the front end. Walton saw it, driving up the inside, goes side by side, still there side by side. The stars he gets back, now he's going to miss the curve, and he does so. Walton goes up the inside, he might line that up two corners ago. Max Walton did the bad Max and went through in Venom. It's Jack Motorsport. Still Christian Estazi though, boy oh boy, this is a cracker. Round they come though, McMillan's in three, Walton four, Estazi, Thompson's here now again, with his cousin Santin, then Hamilton, Brownie, following Brownie, still Stefan, then Radford, Imogen's got trouble, Oliver Estazi and Ryan Thompson are coming, followed by Berkey. Leaders out already coming down the back straight. Already into better bends with the front two. They've got past the back marker as Taparis. He has indeed cost the Taparis. 12 laps in. McNeil follows. Can McMillan hold on? Walton, Estazi, Thompson, Santin, then Hamilton. together, Thompson right with them, and Radford's hanging on in there. <laughs> Oliver Estadio looks over the right shoulder to see what Thompson's doing. Thompson could make a move here, here comes Thompson, surely inside, yes, Thompson's gone through. Oliver Estadio back on, Thompson now right with him and Jim Radford. Radford's got to hang on, Thompson is going to try and have a crack at this, this is to get to the top 10, remember? And Stefan is holding the 10. Through goes Stefan. Here comes the leader. Whoa, Radvan goes back another one. Thompson gets another one. Radvan's back one more. Costa de Paris through Zach's Motorsport. On to Bella Benz. Through there comes still McMillan holds on from Walton and Estasi. But here comes to Paris. Has been a very, very lonely race for Costa de Paris. He sees four to go. And has been unstoppable all weekend long. Walton still holds the start here. Thompson and Santin together again. Through the old go Radburn. Still trying to hold on to Thompson. Estazi right there with her. And the leader has already into Zach's motorsport. Through they will go. McNeil can't stay with him. 44.038 is the quickest lap from Costa de Paris. McNeil has held on for as long as he can. McMillan, Walton and Estazi still having a cracker battle. Estazi, I think, might have another move in him yet. And they're right. Reeling in McMillan and he knows it. The two parallel drivers are almost together once more. And Stasi is forcing that issue through Power Republic. And Stasi goes up the inside yet again. He's gone through on Walton once more. Hits the curb. Looks over the shoulder. Can Walton come back at him as Taparas comes through? McNeil goes through. There's the battle. Estazi eventually has now got behind McMillan once more. But can Ryan McMillan hold him off on the last lap? Walton still there. Thompson and Santin still together. There goes. He's holding on to the moment for two. Number nine is in the 10. That is Alexander Stefan. But here.
comes the leader, and it's been one hell of a show. The big dance is to come, but right now, take your hats off and salute the Junior Max pre-final winner, the number 43, Costa Tapares, second, Isaac McNeil. Ryan McMillan, 4th, Christian Astarte, 5th, Mad Max Moulton, 6th, Caden Thompson, 7th, Bryce Santin, behind Santin was Hamilton, then Brownie, behind Brownie was Alexander Stefan, behind Stefan, Ryan Thompson, in 12th, Richard Radford, 13th, Oliver Astarte, behind Astarte, Berkey was 14th, Thomas will be 15th, and unfortunately Cohen Day did not finish. Well done to them all.